So Jason, this is the PRG Best Boy 4000, mm -hmm. and my word, it's a monster. It is a big boy indeed. It's just under uh, 50 kilos, so it's very that much a two-person explains why it took two of us to get it into the building. <laughs> yeah. The case is still out in the dock. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as I can discern, there's obviously a discharge lamp in here because mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. to strike it. Yep. Uh, control for the thing is via this lovely screen on the back, which is actually really mm. responsive and, yep. LCD and touch screen. good yep. as a touch screen. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, there's some very advanced diagnostic functions in there. Mm -hmm. It looks to me like it's got art. Now, I'm just going to talk about what I've discovered, and you can mm -hmm. correct the bits that are wrong. Because yep, you've sure. had a look at the specs. Indeed. I haven't. Look, it's got um, CMY color mixing, yep, yep. and it's got a color wheel, and there's yep. a color temperature adjust function yep. as well. From 3,000 to 7,500 to match uh, different you know, temperatures. 7,500 is a bit lower mm. than some LEDs will run, but as we mm. mentioned, it is a discharge lamp, not an LED, and mm -hmm. that's pretty mm -hmm. good. Um, it's got no less than uh, what appears to be two gobo wheels. That's correct. Plus uh, a prism wheel. All mm -hmm. of those things can rotate. There's yep. one more wheel that I'm still figuring out. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a framing shutter assembly mm -hmm. which can be rotated. And an iris. And an iris, which <laughs> I did actually discover. And there's also, yeah. there's also a dimmer and a strobe function as well. Okay. Um, look, the, uh, the other thing that, that's worthy of mention um, is that those framing shutters can can not only go in and out, but they can change, uh, they can twist mm. on their axis, yeah, and up, then you up can to 30 twist degrees, yeah. yeah, the whole assembly. Mm -hmm. Now our beam angle, uh, I've I've looked at minimum to maximum zoom, and wow, it goes wide. Yeah, eight to one from eight to sixty-four. Eight degrees to sixty-four degrees. Yeah, that's wow. Correct. Okay, so we're not quite down to pin spot territory, but we're pretty <laughs> damn close. pretty yeah. damn tight. And I've got to say, uh, we've just got it doing a color roll here. But when you when you punch this thing into open white on a, a narrow beam, mm. you can easily see how it throws a very long yeah, way. Very, very, very. This is uh, very much designed to be pretty much. It's kind of like a, a be all and end all to any designer wanting to put on on something pretty big, like big theater uh, broadcast. Uh, there's not a lot it can't do, and it can knock out some pretty amazing gobo effects. Yeah, like we, I was playing with a couple of two two overlaid gobo yep. wheels, and you get this sort of um, I think it's a moire effect. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, do they call it that in the they brochure? Do, they Excellent. do. Excellent. Oh, I read that. That bit, was very actually. nice. Um, what's the lamp inside it? Because I, I, I do do have a concern mm. that obviously this much power comes with a, mm. a huge power consumption. Uh, it's a 700A arc lamp, and they're claiming that at uh, 240 volts, it uh, runs on uh, 4.5 amps. Wow. Yeah, so a very, very efficient, around 20,000 lumens out of that. Far out, that's yeah. quite a bit. And now it is generating a fair bit of heat, but you mm -hmm. expect that, of course, with a discharge lamp. But what it's not generating a lot of, is noise. Yeah. We have had much, much smaller fixtures on this table. Make a lot, a lot more louder. noise. Yeah, this is an extremely professional unit uh, for the big gigs where you want an amazing high quality result. And I think it delivers. I think so.